I used acrylic paints for this lesson. You can use any kind of acrylics with the color of thalo blue, medium yellow, brilliant red, lamp black and white. 5 types of artists brushes with different sizes. Flats and round brushes. Create a dark brown color by mixing yellow, red, black and white. Just play with it. This will just be the base color. You can use burnt amber or burnt sienna if you have. Apply it entirely on your canvas or board. Will will just be the base. Then mix a darker paint with blue, black, little yellow then apply it on the center. This will be the waterfall's base color. Leave little spaces on top as the forest and below as the river. Then let's mix blue, yellow, and a little white with little red for the water. Make it more lighter and bluish. Just follow the color on screen. Apply it below as the river and on top as the forest background. Add darker color on the waterfall background to make it more solid. You can apply anything as long as it is dark. You can also use black but I don't recommend it. Make it more solid as you can see on video.
mix a little green or green like for the forest background at the top. You can make green color whatever you like. I just use lighter dull type green. Just don't focus on that part. Anyway the tutorial is all about painting waterfalls. Let's mix paint for the waterfall. Use blue, black, and little white to make it bluest gray effect. Use a flat medium size brush. Apply it on the middle from top to bottom as this is how the water falls. Do not spread the color. Make little spaces. Apply gently, just follow what I did on screen. Let's mix for the rocky hill beside the waterfalls. Use yellow, black, red, and white for the hills. Mix little by little so that you don't waste your paint. Apply slowly beside the water. Apply different single strokes in any part of it but don't overdo. Make some little spaces. Play with it. Use a little from your imagination. This are the sunlit parts. Mix a darker color of it. You may a little black to make it look darker. Apply on the sides of the lighter one and also on the dark area. You may follow what I did. Put it everywhere but again don't overdo it. Give some little air on the shades. Thank you. 
Mix blue, black, and little white for the rock's reflections. Add it on the darker parts and again don't overdo. Just little by little and gently apply the colors. Spread it. Mix red, yellow, and more white for the rock highlights. Gently apply it on the light area. Apply more to make irregular looking rocks.
Mix red, yellow, that looks more orange and apply it anywhere in the highlighted area. Apply little by little to give brighter look on the rocks. Add more white on the existing colors and apply it on the highlights. You observe that it is more lighter. Don't overdo. You can play with the colors just what I did in the video. Mix a dark color almost similar to black then use a small round brush and apply it on the dark spaces between the rocks. Slowly apply it to create a more contrast between the highlights.
Then use a smaller flat brush with white on it. Simply apply it on top of the waterfalls. Making vertical strokes just like the water is flowing or falling. Don't spread the color. Just follow what I did on video. These are the sunlit part of the water. At the bottom create some splashing effects. To finish the painting, paint some water reflections on the river. You can retouch the painting as long as it doesn't satisfies you. That's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more video in the future.